Oh my god, noob noob, they're gonna cancel Rick and Morty! Rick and Morty's gonna be done forever! Don't cancel Bendigo, Morty! They're gonna cancel it all! They need to go to Bendigo still! What are we gonna do? Oh my god, noob noob, this is like breaking... But not breaking news. Uh. Breaking a woman's face is what you're saying. Oh my god! I don't see how Rick and Morty, if potentially this happens, could could not recover from this because their main star, Justin Roiland, is in big, 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 big trouble. Big trouble. He a, he a big beater. In a in a Me Too era, this is not something you want to do. He beating them bitches. He beating them bitches. Rick and Morty creator Justin Roiland facing domestic assault charges. Oh my god You said he got charged with a felony He got charged with two felonies Oh boy Apparently these are the These are two year old cases That were first made public Thursday And people are just picking up on it now He pleaded not guilty to two charges in 2020 And now they're going to pre-trial hearing If found guilty Mr. Royland, 42 Could face up to seven years in prison the He ain't going to prison fel- He's too rich And who white to go to prison. He would do well in prison though, I feel like. He's got he's got that young face. Yeah, he's got some good he can do some voices for people too. Oh, that's true. So I, he was char- this is pretty bad though. He was charged with domestic battery and corporal injury and false imprisonment by menace, violence, fraud or deceit. Those sound pretty bad. I don't know what that even means. That means I Did don't he know. kidnap somebody? I maybe. And like beat them while Keeping them hostage? I think so. The accuser is an anonymous Jane Doe who police say was dating in a dating relationship with him at the time. I think he just scared her with voices. <laughs> Starts <laughs> screaming lemon grab unacceptable not as he's acceptable. eating her booty. Yes, that's and it's like she's not as clean as he would like, and he just starts screaming unacceptable. Yes, I have. Seen, he does a lot of stuff drunk. So is he drunk? What? Uh, I would think so. Oh my gosh. So, uh, the voice of the adult cartoon star and the titular characters. And he's the voice of Rick and Morty. So, yeah, there, if he's, if he's canceled, then he, there's just no Rick and Morty. I mean, that's not true because there's an obvious replacement. Oh, okay. Me. Yes, because you do Mindigo the voices. Mindigo Morty. Mindigo Morty. Mindigo? Yeah. Mindigo Go. Mindy came It's me, go. Morty. Oh, Morty. It's I like can a, take over, Morty. It's a solid B. That's a Bendigo, Morty. It's a B. I can do them all. All them characters. Can you do a lemon grab? I can, but right now I don't feel like screaming. Okay. <laughs> a protective order was filed against Mr. Royland. Order him to keep at least 100 feet away from the accuser at all times. Do not harass, threaten, or spy on her. He was ordered to turn over any firearms. I don't know if he had any. Okay. Doesn't say, but he's required to return. Oh my god. I'm surprised like they haven't commented on I mean if they let Ezra Miller do whatever he wants, why that not let That is true. That dude is somehow I I swear to you, I I if they let him continue as the Flash. I, like I, I don't necessarily care. He's fine as a Flash, but I'm just saying like James Gunn cancels and and He's also been the victim of canceling, although he's not uh, exactly a uh, shroomer. He ends Henry Ezra Cavill. Miller's a shroomer. Ben Affleck is gone. Jason Momoa is gone. Henry Cavill is gone. Potentially Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot is gone. All of those are great castings. And then Ezra fucking Miller stays on. He runs on. like a twink. A, f- a f- <laughs> fucking skating pansy ass. Skating. Oh my gosh. I it just, yeah. They let us say those also, things anymore. Also, Every time I read an article about him, I'm like, holy shit. Who's he shrooming now? No, no, no. It's just they keep saying they, them. And I'm like, oh "Oh, my goodness. Don't touch my penis. Yeah. No, that's fine. But like when you're writing an article using a plural pronoun for a fucking. Very confusing for you. Singular human being is just dumb. What if he was with child? Could he be they then? Stupid. Stupid. But well, back to re- Justin Roiland. He was arrested and released on fifty thousand dollars bail. He'll replace Ezra Miller as the Flash. That's a lot of money for bail. Yeah. I mean, not 50, really. Fifty G's. That means it's pretty. That's a pretty serious crime. He's got that Rick and Morty. Remember that ten year contract. Yes, he does. But still, like, what if he? What if he goes to? Pri- he could go to prison. He sold a couple of Szechuan sauces. He's fine. 
so on a scale of one to a he, okay let's let's start with the he should be canceled should he be canceled mm, i don't i guess if he's found guilty like it's kind of hard so not innocent to, until proven guilty it's not to, guilty until proven innocent it i don't know it's tough taking the fact that he's drunk I feel like I would if this was season one or two of Rick and Morty, I'd be like, let him hit the bitch. But now, oh, like, after these terrible seasons, now you're like, I'm just like, eh, is it have you ever it? watched Solar Opposites? No, is it worth it? Oh, I think that sucks, right? I don't know. I've never watched it. I heard it's gay. Okay, so now you say, put him away. I'm I like, th- who's I'm more on the blame fence. Though? I'm on the fence. <clears throat> if you had to blame Dan Harmon or Justin Roiland, who would you blame more? Dan Harmon. Yes, Dan yeah, Harmon. Yeah, Dan Harmon probably. He's like 70 to 85% guilty. Yeah. So are you saying by proxy, Dan Harmon is allegedly guilty of beating Justin Roiland's girlfriend? That's true. So but that he could put him Let's cancel Dan Harmon. Let's do that. Yeah. I heard he was in a toxic relationship. I heard he And got- he made some grape jokes. Yeah, did he? Yes, he did. Oh, my God. He made some jokes about grape. Don't be graping. He definitely touched Chevy Chase on the community show. I wouldn't touch Chevy Ta- Chevy Chase with you. Yeah. I forget. Why was he famous again? Did he have a talk show? Will you be my bodyguard? Can you call me? He was not a singer. Metal? That's not a thing. He was in a Paul Simon v- music video. It's very funny. But wasn't he? Like, he was like a, a TV show host, like a Jimmy Fallon. He was only or... in one of the most famous movies ever. National Lampoon's? Uh, yeah. The you know National Lampoon's Christmas Carol's vacation, Christmas yeah, vacation. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was also the star of. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna. It's, it's a. It's not. It's not Groundhog Day, but it's. Uh, it's Bill Murray. I uh, yeah, but Bill Murray's also in the same movie with him, where they play golf on the golf course. Bill Murray plays the groundskeeper. You are sounding like Groundhog's Day. It's not Groundhog's Day. Uh, oh my God, I don't have my phone to look it up. PGA Tour. No. Uh, it's Should I Google Chevy Chase, uh, Bill Murray? Yeah, I was gonna say Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. Movie. It's like an ultra, ultra, ultra. F- like it's one of the funniest movies of all time. Chevy Chase, Bill, and Bill Murray. Murray. Right. Wow. Let's see who uh, finds it first. Bill Murray. SNL. No, 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 no. They were. Oh my gosh, he's the groundskeeper, and this then. I'm pretty sure this is Groundhog Day. It is not Groundhog Day. Quentin Tarantino prefers Chevy Chase to Bill Murray. What? That sounds crazy. When Bill Murray and Chevy Chase got into a physical fight. Oh my gosh. Medium Over talent. What? I don't know. I've already, I oh, stopped. I gotta find it. I stopped caring. Yeah, but what are you? Th- so you think he should be? F- f- oh, it's Caddyshack. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, Caddyshack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know who else was in Caddyshack? Um, Al Pacino. No. Robert De Niro. Also no. Leonardo A famous comedian. DiCaprio. Uh, George Carlin. Nope. That was a good guess. Rodney Dangerfield, you clown. Oh, he's dead. He's w- probably one of the funniest comedians of all time. Super, no, George Carlin. Can somebody do something about my wife? Hey? Then Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is one of the goats, for sure. He's better than that. Rodney. Rodney, I don't think so. Danger eh, shit. It's pretty pretty tough. Anyway, mm-hmm. what do you think? Do you think Justin Royal is this the end of Rick and Morty? Is Rick and Morty done forever? Are we looking at the end of Rick and Morty forever? What do you say down below? Let us know in the comments below because we're curious. Because we think it's potentially ending. I think this is bad news. It's bad news bears. Anyway... Check us out in our full-length audio podcast. It is free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and all those fun places. Feel free to Google ORKU or ORKU or Our Reviews Will Kill You. You'll find us in all those places more on Rumble. And we live stream 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here Friday nights on YouTube. Because if you don't like it, subscribe. Noob Noob may do this. I will one up Justin Roiland tie you down to a bedpost take one cheek slap some fluffernutter on it fluffernutter take, take another cheek slap some Nutella and make a great sandwich and then lemon grab it all up in there and just scream unacceptable while I'm eating it oh my gosh we're on the next one ah